if you carefully observe how this moment of krishna consciousness has expanded all over the world the whole thing began with shila prabhupad going to a park in new york in tompkinson square park and he chanted the holy name and the holy name is the awakener the one which wakes up the sleeping souls so many of the boys and girls who came to the park and heard the pure sound vibration of singing of hare krishna mantra by shila prabhupad they got woken up in their spiritual life spiritual awakening then prabhupad brought them to a store front matchless gifts where he uh, transmitted the wisdom to them what is that wisdom wisdom of sambandham gyan who am i who is god what is my loving relationship uh, that wisdom gave them the vision and once the uh, boys and girls got the wisdom they got the vision then immediately they developed a desire to stay in that place only not go anywhere else they wanted to stay there stay with prabhupad and spend the rest of their lives but after staying and receiving more and more wisdom they developed an affection for shri prabhupad who gave them that wisdom then the affectionate loving relationship what we call as preeti lakshanam that got awakened and the result, result of that love is that they developed a desire to render service uh, then prabhupada engaged them in going out on book distribution going out on harinam sankirtan going out on prasadam distribution going out building many uh, iskon temples and renting varieties of services in this society in the same manner few minutes ago we were singing this tulasi aarti the first thing the prayer to tulasi marani is please give me a residence in vrindavan which is a place a spiritual place after that we are requesting the vision to see the divine couple which comes by the vision comes from the wisdom the krishna conscious wisdom then after getting the vision we are developing the desire to connect with one of the sakis which is uh, developing loving relationship with a superior with a senior uh, from whom we beg service the purpose of loving relationship with a senior is for begging service then subsequently we beg service and render service you can see these four steps in the tulsi aarti song please give me a residence give me the vision and i want affectionate relationship with the superior on whose guidance i will render innumerable services for the pleasure of the divine couple similarly here is a temple we are putting up a beautiful temple which is like a ship taking millions of people back home back to godhead it has that ability but when we come to this place now what should we do the first thing is we need to transmit wisdom that will awaken vision there are almost a million people coming here every year between 10 lakh people approximately 7 to 10 lakhs that's the range but do all the people who come to this temple get that wisdom and vision so those who are residing in the temple as brahmacharis or congregation their foremost duty is to see that every living being entity who comes here is awarded the wisdom which gives them the vision to see the divine couple and what is the proof that they have got that vision if they get that vision they will never leave this community it's a one way traffic you come inside and you stay here only you will not go like i went to chapar temple you know i got so inspired i never left the connection there i made the connection eternal connection similarly those who come here will become strongly connected to this community and they will never want to leave so that is the meaning of the place the spiritual place the spiritual place is a place where you get the wisdom to get the vision and when you get the vision you are grateful you strike a connection spiritual connection with the superior and once the connection is established then the love awakens for the superiors for the equals for the juniors and for every living entity and and that affection is based on the love for god love for god love for all because when the real vision comes from the ultimate wisdom of 
Sambandhan Gyan. Then our Sambandha is with Krishna and with all the living entities. And when that love awakens, one cannot peacefully sit. One will want to render service. Then one takes up different services. Distribute books, distribute Harinam, distribute Prasad, distribute knowledge, preach, decorate the deities, make the garlands. You know, in this way everybody who is spirited by that knowledge and affectionate relationship will want to render services. So there are sequence of steps I told you. But many people don't go through this sequence of steps. Because they come to temple, they do a ritualistic type of worship, and they go back. Like we hear, 800 people came to this temple and chanted one round. And out of them, eight people agreed to chant daily. Correct, no? Nowadays they stopped announcing the second part. <laughs> because they feel the number is very small. Correct, no? Manushyanam, one out of thousand people get awakened spiritually. <laughs> if thousand people come to temple, one of them may get awakened spiritually. But one, what is the proof that you are awakened spiritually? Then you stick to the place. You think this is not an ordinary place. This is a place where the Supreme Personality of Godhead resides personally as Radha Vandhavan Chandra. Now I have found out the place. It is like a Eureka experience for a new visitor. I want to come to this place. So when will they come and they get the wisdom? Are we transmitting the wisdom that gives them the vision? The spiritual vision, Shastra Chakshu with which they begin to see the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord um, and develop affection for Him and affection for devotees. When that affection is awakened, the result of that affection is one wants to lay down one's body, mind and soul in rendering innumerable services for the pleasure of Krishna, Radha and Krishna and uh, Shri Shri Gaurnitai and Raghunath Buddha Subhadra and Shri Prabhupada and, you know, for expanding this beautiful movement. Because if you go to a doctor, you got cured, then you are going to recommend the doctor to many people. Huh? Similarly, those who benefit from this association will also want to gift this association to many, many more people. But you will see that this sequence of steps begin with waking up the sleeping souls, which happens by holy name. Therefore, Harinam Sankirtan and Nam Jap, these two are the most important activities. Nam Jap will wake up the individual soul. Harinam Sankirtan will wake up hundreds and thousands of souls in the outside. So when we, once you wake up the sleeping souls, then you can bring them to this place, which is spiritual abode, where you can transmit wisdom to give vision. And once you bring them and give them the, if you don't bring them and give them vision, to get the, I mean, you don't give them the wisdom, then their spiritual life doesn't continue. They get, they woken up with the holy name, again they go to sleep. Therefore, we had to bring them and give them the wisdom. Therefore, Prabhupada wanted all of our temples to be like universities, spiritual universities, where we transmit this spiritual wisdom based on his more than a hundred books and his lectures. We study, assimilate, live it, and then transmit it to the people. And once the wisdom wisdom gets awakened, knowledge of something and gets awakened, they develop deep affection in a spiritual community and become part of the community, beg for services, render services, purify their heart, experience full-blown Krishna consciousness and in this very life go back home, back to Godhead. Harina Prabhu ki, Srila Prabhupada ki, Namachari Haridas Thakur ki, let's offer our humble obeisances and to all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are just like this air trees or ocean of mercy, full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Vancha Kalpatarubhyascha Krupa Sindhubhya Yevacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrindaki Vaishnava Thakur Srila Prabhupada Ki Namacharya Haridas Thakur Ki